Hello, I'm Claire Ely and I'm Head of Service Improvement at the Anna Freud National Centre for Children and Families. I'm also a family therapist and I used to run a children and young people's mental health service in London. Okay, I'm here today to talk about staff well-being for those people who work in school settings. We know that when we're feeling looked after and looked after by those who manage us, we do much better in the work that we do. It helps us to manage our stress levels when workloads are very high. And we know that in education settings, currently teachers are feeling under a lot of pressure to achieve for the students that they're teaching. In terms of being a senior leader at work, there are certain things that you might want to think about in terms of supporting your staff that would benefit you as well as supporting their well-being. In, in terms of offering them support within a school setting, you might want to think about offering some supervision system. It doesn't have to be like therapy supervision. It could be a consultation space where you sit together with your staff and you help them to process their day, their week, and think about well-being tips that you could give to them to support them in their work. You might also want to think about training that would be helpful for them in terms of supporting their own well-being or if they're experiencing mental health difficulties themselves, you might want to think about services that you can help to refer them to. Some senior leaders have found that, that creating a check-in space at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day for their staff is incredibly helpful. It gives time to just process what, what the staff have experienced that day or that week so that they can talk about it and share it with their managers and their colleagues before they leave work. So they're not going home with worries on their mind about particular young people that they're teaching. In terms of self-care for yourself, one of the main tips that we would suggest is learning to say no. Sometimes in a school setting, you really want to please your managers, you want to do well, you want to demonstrate that you're a hard worker, but you also need to know your own personal limits in terms of workload. You need to be able to have a balance in life between going to work and having a life outside of work and learning to say no and knowing what's an adequate balance for you and your workload is really important. And we'd suggest talking about that with your manager, your senior leaders within a school setting. Identifying people within your workplace, within the school is also really important so that you can share concerns with them and get support from them. We know that resilience is really, really helped by the important relationships that we have with other people. And, and being listened to and being thought about by a colleague is really helpful in terms of you leaving work and putting the worries that you have about work, leaving them at work and going home and having more balance in your life. In terms of personal well-being and resilience, that's your, that's your ability to be able to cope with stressors in, in your life. We know that being flexible around change is really, really important. It sounds easy, but I always think of flexibility as being a tree in, in the wind and stressors that come along might blow us over for a little bit, but we want to be able to bounce back up. In order to be more resilient, looking after yourself and your well-being is key to this. So finding people within your school setting that you can talk to, that you can share concerns with, is a way of supporting your resilience and helping you to do the job that, that you want to do. Another way of supporting your well-being is to think about how compassionate you are to yourself when you make mistakes. And we can all make mistakes. And that's the way that we learn how to do something differently. They can be very helpful to us. A little tip that we have is when you make a mistake, to think, that, think about having a conversation with a friend who's telling you about making a mistake and to think about how kindly you might be talking to them and thinking about them and then to practice that with yourself. And hopefully you'll find that you're much kinder to yourself imagining that you were talking to somebody else rather than just criticising yourself. Because the more critical we are, the more that impacts on our own sense of well-being. If you'd like to find out more about staff well-being in education settings, please go to our website, the Anna Freud National Centre for Children and Families, and there you can look at pages on education settings and you could join our Schools in Mind network. 
We produce some free materials that can help you with your well-being for managers and leaders within schools as well as teaching staff and you can access this free via the website. You might also, if you're concerned about your own well-being, mental health, or as a senior leader, if you'd like to get some more support around these topics, you could also access a charity which is called the Education Support Partnership, and they give a lot of free resources to anybody who's concerned about their well-being or having difficulties with mental health.